Hey guys, it's Heidi, and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I'm sorry if my lighting is a little strange right now. It is later in the evening, and it is what it is. Um, so Clayton and I were out running errands in an area that we're not normally in. It was a different part of town, and I saw a really huge Dollar Tree, and I was like, oh, can I please run inside? Because if you frequent the Dollar Tree a lot, you know that... Different Dollar Trees have different quantities of certain items. I might show you something in my video that you can't find at your Dollar Tree. Um, and I might find five of something at one Dollar Tree and they only have like one at another. So I always get really excited when I see a Dollar Tree that I haven't been to before. So this particular Dollar Tree had tons of fall and Halloween decorations, which I'm really excited about. Because last year was our first Halloween in this house and we didn't decorate at all. So I want to decorate this year way more and have tons of cute little things. If you saw my Easter decor video, this is gonna be kind of similar to that, like small little Dollar Tree things that I think would look cute around the house. Um, lots of pumpkins and things like that. And then I also got a bunch of home items and a little bit more back to school. So I guess I'll start with Halloween stuff. The first thing that I got was this little figurine. It's like a silver um, skull with a raven sitting on top. Like I guess you would call it a raven or like a crow. Um, and it's got like black glitter all over the crow. And it's really super sparkly. And then the bottom part is like really heavy. Like would make a really good paperweight. And I just thought that this was really cute to like set somewhere on the house for Halloween. And then the next thing I got was this little snow globe that has three little ghosts and they're holding a sign that says boo and they have some pumpkins and some bones around the bottom and instead of white snow when you shake it it's like this black glittery stuff that falls down and I thought that was really cute then I got these three little guys they all go together they're little bobbleheads um, this one is a little Frankenstein holding a sign that says eek this one is a little pumpkin boy who's holding a sign that says boo and then this one is a little mummy who's holding a sign that says boo and he's got a spider on his head and I just thought these were like really cute they would look cute like all sitting together like on top of my TV or something like that then I got two of these paper lanterns this one is purple and it has bats all over it and this is what they look like in the package and I guess I just didn't realize that they have a little LED light and um, on the back they take batteries so I took one out and put it together so I could show you guys. It doesn't exactly go together the way the packaging says it should. The package says that this piece right here should stand up straight. And inside my lantern, I'm not sure if you can see, but let me see. It kind of curves to one side. Can you tell? Like it's not straight up and down. Um, it doesn't really affect the way the lantern looks, but it is kind of like if you tried to set it down on the table, it kind of wobbles to one side. So I put batteries. They take two AAAs in the back that do not come with them but I already had some you can get them at the Dollar Tree like a big pack for a dollar so I mean and then when you turn it on this is what it looks like I'm not a fan of it with the light on because honestly I think it takes away the orange color like look how much more vibrant the color is when the light is off but if you were having a Halloween party and you wanted to do it at night and hang some things around your house I guess that's really cute for a dollar you get the little light and I actually think I'm gonna hang them like right up here from my chandelier and I think they're gonna look really cute so that's the pumpkin one put together, and then this is the one with the bats. They also had one that had skulls on it, but I'm not really, it wasn't, it just wasn't as cute. And I know Halloween's not supposed to be cute, but it, it just didn't look quite as right to me. Um, then I got these little foam fake pumpkins, which I think are really cute. I think this one looks really real. It looks like something you would grab at the grocery store around Halloween time. And then this one's a little gourd. And then this one has some fake leaves and a smaller pumpkin on top. And I just thought this would look cute all sitting together somewhere on a table or something. Then I got my famous refrigerator magnets. I have these for Christmas and Easter and I love them. I think they're so cute. And these are just a bunch of different little pumpkins and a little multicolored corn cob. So this is what they look like in the back. That's, you know, the size they are. And I usually put these on my dishwasher because the front of my refrigerator is covered in Disney magnets. So I don't really want to, like, take them all off and do holiday stuff. So my holiday ones go on my dishwasher. I think I show the Easter Bunny one in my Easter decor haul. 
or Easter decor video. And then just like in my Easter decor video when I hung the um, the felt eggs on my windows, I got two of these felt pumpkins to hang on my windows. These are also really good to use as placemats if you have like a white tablecloth and you don't want to buy an expensive Halloween tablecloth. You could just get four of these and like lay them on your table as placemats. They're actually really good quality, really sturdy, but I like to hang them on my window. So I got two of those. Um, that's everything that's Halloween themed. Um, I got really excited. This Dollar Tree had a lot of children's t-shirts and the one by me that I usually frequent doesn't have a big variety. Um, I showed you one in a previous video that was like a kid's extra extra large that would fit me. But this one had a lot more colors and styles and they just looked higher quality. I got this one which is turquoise and it's going to be like two sizes too big for my niece. But I think I'm going to paint something on it like a Disney princess or something. I love to paint. And um, I got this one two sizes too big because it was the, the smallest size I could find in the turquoise. And then I got a gray one. And I've actually already painted this. I hope you guys like this, but I painted a little Minnie Mouse silhouette on the gray one for her. Um, it only cost me a dollar for the shirt, and then I have the fabric paint lying around because I do a lot of different craft projects. So I just copied this from something I found online. Here it is up close if you want to see it. I did the ears and the bow and just filled it in with some red, white, and black fabric paint. So I'm really excited about how that turned out. If you want a tutorial on like freehanding shirt designs or simple ones, let me know because I absolutely love to paint. <laughs> then I just got some Elmer's school glue because I use this for lots of crafts. You can actually mix this with water and make your own like makeshift Mod Podge. So I got two bottles of that. Then I got two of these over the door hooks because I make a lot of wreaths. If you've seen my Easter video, you've seen that wreath. And I need them to hang inside closets, so these just are really great because you're not taping or nailing or anything. You just slip this part over the door, and then you can still shut the door and you can hang things on it. And these are really heavy-duty metal ones. Then I got this pack of 10 little snack containers, and I was really happy that they had such a big pack because this is the kind of thing that if I, you know, take it to school with me and I end up throwing it away because I don't feel like carrying it around all day, like... I'm not going to be upset about it. It cost me 10 cents, you know. So I got these because they're perfect size to put hummus for hummus and pita chips. So I can put some pita chips in a Ziploc bag, put some hummus in here, and they're good little snack containers. Then I needed, I had a mesh laundry bag that I put like lingerie in that I didn't want to get messed up in the washing machine, and it just disappeared. So I needed one of those, and they actually had a three pack at the dollar store. I took one out so you could see. This is the size of it. It's very thin, but I think it'll do. It has a zipper right here, and you could put your bras in here to wash them, all sorts of things. And I actually read online, these things are really good for small items that you want to put in your dishwasher. So if you have like bottle nipples or children's spoons or things that just tend to fall through the slots, you can put them in here and then throw it in the top rack of your dishwasher and wash it, and they're not going to fall through and get stuck in your machine. So that's a cool idea. Then I needed a pencil sharpener for some non-mechanical pencils I have lying around. And I found this pack which has a sharpener at one end and an eraser at the top. And they came like this, blue with a pink, pink with a yellow. But if you had a son and a daughter, theoretically you could take the little lid off and make pink pink and blue yellow. So that you don't have any pink on one of them. But they're really cute. Um... This part turns to like reveal the sharpener so nothing can get stuck in there and get caught in the blade. And then it also pops off to reveal the eraser so you can use it to erase something. And then to empty the little sharpener compartment you just take this off and you dump them out. So I thought those were practical because you get an eraser and a pencil sharpener. Then I got a little zip pencil pouch because I need this to throw in my tote bag that I take to class with me for pens and pencils and my mini stapler and all of that good stuff. Then I think in my last haul I showed you that I got Kenobi a new collar, but I made the mistake of getting one that clasps like a belt where it has the holes and the little thing. And he's got such a tiny neck that it has so much excess hanging off and it doesn't tuck well, so it's like hitting him in the face. 
So I went back and I got one that gets smaller with this and it has the two clips on the side. Once again, I'm going to take the bell off. This is a really shiny red color. I liked it a lot and I'll put that on him when the other one starts to really annoy me. Then I got a small spiral notebook. I didn't really need this, but I like the size. It's just good for like keeping notes and throwing in my purse. So I got that because it's small. Then you guys know I love my air fresheners from the dollar store. I got this limited edition raspberry scent from Renews It. And this is my favorite scent, which is After the Rain. It's like my favorite one that I've bought. Um, then I got this Airwick Magnolia and Cherry Blossom um, air freshener. This is good to leave in the bathroom so that your guests can have access to it if they need it. Then I've never seen this at any of the Dollar Trees near me. I found this Lemon Verbera soap and it's, ver how do you say it, Verbena? I don't know. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But this is made in the USA, which everyone's like, oh, dollar store products, get things that are made in the USA. It's going to be higher quality, all that. And it's pure vegetable soap. So there's no animal fats or any of that weird stuff. And this is like a really big bar of soap. Like, look at that compared to like a, like a bar of Dove or something. And it smells so good. It smells like something you'd find in like a gourmet bath store, like Lush or something. It has just like the freshest lemon scent to it. And I'm really excited to use that in my shower. Then I got this pack of 50 blotting sheets because I just thought that it was a good deal. They're pink, which I really like, and they're just for oil blotting. Great to keep in your purse, especially living in Florida. Then I found this. I've never seen this before. So cute. It's a little candle. Sorry if there's a glare. It's a little candle that looks like a little espresso cup. And on the sides it says cafe latte, mocha, uh, macchiato. It's like just so cute. And I think Clayton's going to give this to a friend of his at work because she loves coffee. Then I got four of these boxes. When you find them in the Dollar Tree, they look like this in a package. And they have different sizes. So I got the size B. And when you know what size you want, make sure that you get all of the same make sure they all say B or they all say A. I think they had A, B, C, and D. And like C and D were like longer and skinnier and A was just a smaller version of B. But I got four of this like blue argyle type print. And this is what they look like put together. This part comes in the bottom and it's made to put in the base of the box to give it structure. And it looks like this. It's great if you have like a bookshelf or something that you want to use as a toy storage and you could slide these in and out. They have a little handle right here. Really big and roomy. Um, they're not the sturdiest, but if you're just going to put like kids' toys, papers, or whatever, I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to use them for yet, but I definitely need the storage. And I just like things to be contained. Even if I throw a bunch of stuff in those boxes, at least it's contained. Um, then I only have a couple more things. The, the next th two things I got were these two different sets of earphones. I don't recommend the dollar store earphones if you want something that's going to last you a, lo a long time. I've had better headphones that I got for like $15 on Amazon, but if you're the kind of person who loses them, breaks them, you know, I, I broke my favorite pair of headphones because I had them in my ears and I had my phone in my pocket and the cord got caught on a drawer and when I went to push the drawer back in, it pulled the headphones and they tore. So, I mean, if you're reckless like that, that, these are for Clayton. He's had like five pairs from the dollar store. So he got this pair that kind of like cuffs over your ears. And then he got this pair that they're just like little green rectangles. So we'll see how long they last. Then I got this little um, sponge, which I thought would be really good to like clean wine glasses and things. And um, then I got this blue Jolly Rancher lip balm. That was Clayton calling me. Let me see what he needs. That's everything. I was actually finished anyway. So as always, thanks for watching, guys.